What's up, guys? Welcome to MX Skill Shack. Get your asses in here. Let's go. Oh, <coughs> shit, we left them outside. <laughs> no, you gotta come in. <sighs> What's up, guys? Welcome to the brand new MX Skill Shack shop and YouTube channel. All new, starting from scratch. Been spending the last two, three weeks probably building this thing out. Air, power, water, all the machines. We've got more stuff to add, and we're gonna show you where those things are going to go when they get here pretty soon. It's pretty nifty. We basically combined our garages yeah. into this warehouse yeah and it's it's got a pretty sick flow yeah and we're for sure looking forward to use it definitely it's all for you guys because we want to if you remember or actually if you're new basically we do three things and what's the first thing we do what's the website for well, the website is for the purpose of educating yep. the community and that's a pretty broad statement because the community in the dirt bike world is quite large. Yeah, how are we going to do it? Uh, we're to going break it down. How are we going to break it down? How are we going to educate people on the website? What are we going to use to do that? We're going to use our giveaway bikes. Very good. That's to break point them number two. down to teach you how to do things with yours or other people's motorcycles. Exactly, guys. So we're going to be building, and we have a special announcement here pretty soon, dirt bikes that we intend to give away to our Skill Shack members, yeah. members of the website. We're gonna use those projects to show you guys how to check your squish, how to uh, repair your exhaust pipe, how to do your wheel bearings, whatever it is that yeah. these bikes along the way, customization, trick stuff might need. And you know it's official when oh, you got what? hats and shirts. Yeah, some stuff. Check that out. Get you on the website. Good, yeah, you look pretty sharp too. I know, that yeah. MXSS. Yeah. Oh, I have one more thing. And uh, Todd, if you're watching, this is for you. What is this? I haven't shown Tony or even talked to him about it. Last night, my wife went ahead and made you your favorite cookies. Let me get that cut I'm not right eating there. it. I'm not eating it on camera. <laughs> you're definitely eating it because I'm going to. Our buddy hey, Todd, Todd. Uh, started 3D printing, uh, and the first thing he made was... Baby rocket ships. This dick. Well, we like yeah. to call them baby elephants. Yeah, but so go ahead. You, you go first. Oh, dude, yeah, give me the head. All right, you get that one right there? That <laughs> right. one looks pretty nice. <laughs> I'm gonna nibble oh, on the hard nuts. as a rock. This is how you like it. Crystal. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Todd. Todd, <laughs> my wife wasn't gonna let this go to waste. Hopefully, we were talking about it last night that this isn't anatomically correct or measured off your own person because that would be pretty <laughs> embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was a good chuckle. Thanks, Todd, for the baby rocket chips. Yeah, and Crystal. A delicious sugar cookie. Yeah, and it, in an attempt in 2024 to be more inclusive and um yeah. i guess um not leave anyone behind no oh, we, we went ahead else? yeah we got something else right here oh, we decided that uh, like i said to be more inclusive we burn some of them to make them a little darker <laughs> because you're puerto rican and we, oh, hey. we don't want you to feel left oh, out man, now i feel so like much you had better a bunch of white dicks oh i get a brown one actually on that note <laughs> hang tight now what oh jesus all these surprises let me get one of those uh what do you want a brownie i don't care Oh, when you get, oh God, burn the brown one. Oh. <laughs> we know you like a black one once in a while too, so. That's not wanna, for me, that's for you. I don't wanna leave anyone behind. Get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it smells horrible in here right now. <laughs> Todd, I appreciate you. Charles, thanks for the laugh. Yeah, you're just as weird as us. It smells horrible. Unfortunately, we don't have any yellow dicks, but you get where we're going with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's, everybody's welcome. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to MX Skill Shack. Let's check out the shop. Check out the shack. <laughs> <laughs> she made a whole sack of sacks and dingleberries. Dicks. All right, guys, starting at the front door. Cruise on in. Welcome in. Yeah, we've got our Good little lunchy area. Yeah, we've got lunch. Information area. Printers, office kind of deal. Yeah, this is where we keep the uh, the dickies. Uh, the peepees. Yeah, we got some uh, Ryan. If you're watching, these are your old cases since they were useless. Tony made a killer uh, oh, bookend book out of that. Another set of cases. Yeah, just tried to make it all artsy, sort of. It looks good. You did a good oh, job. Thanks, pal. And as you flow into the space here, we'll give you just a, a sweep of what's going yeah. on. Lots to change yet. Lots, lots of equipment still lots. coming in. Yep. Got sort of the L-shaped bench over here, compressor in the back, storage, main work area, yeah, main work bench. bench. So we had Step Brothers and Supercross on last week on the <laughs> shop TV there. And then as you sweep around, you get sort of the, uh, the dirty vapor blast, media blast area. And we're going to hit some stations and just kind of show yeah. you guys what's going on. Start, you want to check we'll out over the here. suspension table first? So yeah, we got our little suspension slash engine 
mm -hmm. area all in one spot we had to move things around quite a bit to yeah. kind of get a good feeling for how it was going to go and this actually worked out the best i think because mm -hmm. then we had to plumb in air and then we got water going yep. over there for the sink electricity charles did all the electrical air. here um and then on the back side of this is solvent tank and then well, let's check out this uh check out your oh, space this situation it's, it's yeah. a work in progress but yeah we're, for sure we need to load this with tools and tools we're gonna get some pegboard for the back and mm -hmm. get that all dialed in everything up here on the back wall would be like a backsplash loaded with tools what's it called wall control you found on amazon yeah wall control i've been i've been itching to get some of that i had pegboard at the old place but we're gonna do it we want to do it right mm -hmm. got yeah. some ultrasonic cleaning here yep. show you guys some of the things you're going to see in the upcoming videos of course so suspension tear down here mm -hmm. We've got the sink that drains into um there's a oh, uh, we want to tell down that. below yeah go ahead sure, let them know what i did that. when we were moving this table out of your shop <laughs> so under is here it under there yeah it's uh, it's high yeah. so under here it's we really got our great story. five gallon water jug just capturing all the oil that comes out of the sink it was full to the it brim pretty no full bullshit. like full to the top <laughs> and what we happened? Go to, oh charles went to to manhandle the bench to get it out of the way so we could get it on in the in the truck and I didn't, I failed to mention there's an oil pail, oil pail under there and it moved it this way and all the oil went. I dumped the entire floor. thing out. It was a family effort though. We, made, we cleaned floor. it all up. It was a dickhead. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we won't be doing that in here. Nope. But suspension teardowns here. Yep. Got the vice for suspension so we can break stuff down. Show you guys some killer motion pro tools mm -hmm. upcoming where you guys can find them. We'll be ultrasonic cleaning carburetors. We'll be ultrasonic cleaning engine, engine cases, pits. cylinders, whatever, getting it prepped for vapor blasting. Mm -hmm. This is where the magic happens. This is our engine On bench. The engine. Mikey, O'Neill, if you're watching, this is where your engine's going to go back together. Yep. First one in the shop. Actually. Yeah, we actually didn't mention, we, when we started the video, we were so enamored by Todd's wonderful dicks and all the different <laughs> colors they could be that um, <laughs> I don't think we talked about the third thing we do. We do high-end, yeah. like very work. expensive customer full builds like yep. it's like some of the mx revival giveaway bikes they're in the thirty thousand dollar range yes uh, we so do the engines if you want to send in engines if you want to send in frames for blasting yep, if you want exactly. to send us a motorcycle to exactly. construct by all means we could uh we could fully accommodate we can that. facilitate that yeah high-end stuff high-end yep. stuff giveaway bikes and video education via the website so yes. Got a little crossed up on those peckers earlier, but uh, yeah, they got through us for a for a loop. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of where we'll store engines mm -hmm. um, as they come apart, right? As they in come the apart totes. from the bikes, keep them in the totes, label everything. Even customer engines will go here with on this on this shelf. Yeah, probably have to get a bigger shelf over time, but definitely that's uh, that's kind of the idea right now. Back here, what do we have? We got we another our, airline down there behind the airline. table. Those will be on our, the other side of the table. Yep, solvent tank. Solvent tank here. And then we're going to get that big sink from my, my my garage in here. Yep. Is the idea. And then we just got to plumb in a drain. Yep. We got power on standby uh -huh. up there for an Insta Hot, so we can have hot water. Mm -hmm. And we got uh, air on standby. This is where bathroom. Tony does does what he does. Hey man, sometimes Leave you got to take a dump. Man, I had five last week that were gnarly, <laughs> bad tacos. <laughs> but I'm just glad I don't have to run to the house anymore. Pee on the fence. Yeah, that's right. right? That's pretty awesome. Um, let's see little things, the small things guys, the little, yeah. small things. Got a heater. Okay. Got, let's see. Got your compressor. Moving back to the other side of the restroom there. We got our compressor. Of course, that's plumbed into these airlines up on the wall. They go left. They go right. We'll show you some of the outlets near the benches as we go. I, I should say if anybody's interested in these airlines, these are, uh, Prevost. How do you spell that? that P R E V O S T. Okay, and they're they're aluminum, yeah. right? Yeah, and all aluminum. powder coated as well, it's or painted? Yeah, it's it's I believe it's powder coated. It's really nice. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's all really quick connect too. Kind of like Pex, mm -hmm. where Pex is or like a shark bite where it goes and retains it, but these are all threaded mm -hmm. O-ring and like a little shark bite inside. So you cut the pipe, and then you run your fittings and to your drops, and show all the, the drops. Oh, fittings! I'll show them the fitting real quick. Well, here's a drop. Yeah, here's a drop. And, and we'll, all the drops we'll have um, quick connect, quick connect, but they also have drains on every drop. Yep. And I'd like to also mention that you plumbed this in, we fired it up and there was not one single leak. So the stuff uh, aside from your good craftsmanship, it doesn't, it doesn't leak. It's Thanks, good pal. stuff. I mean, I, I sat on that stuff from my old shop up in North Idaho. I was not going to get rid of it. So I'm glad we could finally Definitely. repurpose it and put it in here. What do we have here? A little press station. Got press. It's where the steering stems come out, yep. the linkage bearings go back in, the yep. swing arms come apart, maybe the occasional uh, BRC engine water pump yeah. pressage, yes. something like that. Yeah. And what yeah. was pretty cool was this uh, this nook in the back that the restroom <clears throat> makes was almost 
dead Perfect. square six feet with these shelves so this worked oh, out pretty nice foot. yeah these here these Those are, are more drawers that's giveaway bike one giveaway bike two giveaway bike three i'll hand this to you and i'll, I'll, I'll start actually yeah got it all right. all right all right guys tony's operating so bear with me here i'm like the fng with the camera the fng right. yeah guys so tool stack pretty obvious i've yet to fill it like much of the space where the sink's not there we need to put some more tools in here make our way around tony had oh, this maxima badass hey guys text it 208 208 <laughs> text maxima 208 got the bench here of course ended up with some uh power and air on both sides Come with me. I'm walking. My friend. I'm walking. A little got slow. TV going on. Tell we got uh, recessed electrical behind the TV, so we don't have a bunch of extra pipes we don't need on the yeah, wall. Chuck is a magician with that, let me tell you. Well, I mean, 16 years, man. Yeah. Thanks. It didn't look that good. It looked pretty good. Yeah. Got all the tools to get the job done here. This is Tool all from boxes. Tony's place. Pretty cool stuff. It's nice. This kind of came in and went in exactly as it left Tony's so that yeah, pretty can have much a feel home. for where. Everything is. You there see it me? Is. I got you. Okay. <laughs> FNG for crying out loud. You're good. No, yeah. it's, that's why you're holding it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So moving along through here, obviously this is the dirt bike space. If you want to pan over some of these bikes, we're going to talk about this bike in a minute, guys. And we're going to talk about some of the updates to the YZ since the last time you saw it. Both of these are giveaway bikes. Really excited. Both. You guys hear that? Both. He said both. And like I said, on the rack, there's three totes. That's three bikes. Wait, so you do the math. Wait a minute. And then here's the old, old uh, virus. Yeah. Still infected from this thing. It doesn't <laughs> exactly. look infectious anymore. Nope. And we haven't talked to them about the hardware. So we're going to visit that hardware we uh, when we get back it. to that bike. Oh. And over here, guys, we kind of have, uh, I guess we'll just call it the vapor bench, the, the media bench. We, we got some <clears throat> carts for media blasting, stuff that comes in dirty. It might hit the ultrasonic cleaner first and then make its way over to the vapor blasting cabinet. If it's super dirty, we'll put it into the dry oh, blast dry. cabinet over here. But this little nook ended up being pretty awesome for dirty things. Um, you know, using the drill press, whatever, to make metal flyings, getting things shot into the vapor blaster uh, for cleaning. They come out, put them on these rags like you just saw from Tony and then start to reassemble. Check out this frame we just did for a customer oh, a couple awesome. days ago. Check it out from this side too, yeah, so the light's gonna light. hit it properly. Look at that. That is crisp. Yeah, so this thing was... It was pretty gross. Pretty trashed. But yeah, so this is the kind of stuff we do, guys, and we're happy to do this for you, and we're gonna also, as mentioned, show you the procedures. Like if you have a vapor blaster yourself and you wanna know what PSIs we use, what gun, what media, things like that, so... Other than that, I think that's that's kind of a that's kind of the shop loop, is it not? Yeah. It's not the not the biggest place in the world. No, but it, it's gonna be well functional for yeah. for our needs. Let's talk about the YZ. Oh YZ. Oh okay. I'm coming. Yeah. You got good light? You feel I, I, good, it's, good on it, that thing? Yeah. It's pretty crispy. Okay, cool. So you guys may have seen in the last MX Revival video, as you guys can tell, you're at the MX Skill Shack new channel. So please subscribe. Yeah, we really check appreciate it. Out. it. It's going to be kind of carrying over to here. Um, this thing was a rot box if you're oh. new. If you're not new, you already know that. And we're going to go ahead and drop, actually, the videos on our website where this thing started. Uh, the seat was sunburned. The forks were covered in oil. There was a barnacle growing on yep. the seat. Um, Larry. And so, yeah. Oh, Larry. Absolutely disgusting. We'll throw the bike uh, teardown video up. On the website for you guys there's a youtube tab top of the mx skill shack website and then the second video we did which was taking the engine apart we actually had to use a hacksaw to get the shift shaft <laughs> out of the cases so yeah, yeah. it was really bad the third video we gave you guys an update the frames came back nice and white the stinger. radiators came back nice and black we guys we got you guys a uh, cool parts an old pro circuit stinger so a period correct exhaust we got all the plastics all the body we bought a new swing arm bunch oh, yeah. of oem parts just showed up and the one thing we didn't show you in that video because it wasn't back yet was all of this hardware we zinc plated and blacked out every bolt in the chassis so the main pin engine hangers above and below there's your peg pins even the, the springs. springs so we kind of going a little bit nuts on it we which went we went ham you I mean, should get used either. to but um yeah. Yeah, and i would say that this has been pretty budget friendly so it's not even going to be like one of the the pinnacle builds for it's just, sure it's it's one of those labor intensive it got ones. yeah it got the shop started this one yeah so if you want to go to the other side of this bike oh what's this one charles this is a 
2003 CR250 and it is going to be the next MX Skill Shack video. Actually, we're gonna tear this thing down. We may do it as early as tomorrow. Get in there, man. I'll spin it for you so you can get good light. Oh, there it is. This thing is a heap of shit. Not oh, I keep touching the damn yeah. grips. <laughs> Look at it. He's got the gummies. Look at it. The gummies, his hands. Ugh. Ugh. Don't, don't touch it. Don't. So don't both these bikes it. are uh, virus laden. This one's not as bad. Well, it's not as bad. We were surprised on the Yamaha, to be honest, when how easy it came apart. This one's just, she's crusty. But definitely. From what I understand, Charles says it runs. You take over. Oh, you, I, you my start, turn? Yeah, you talk to the people. Okay. So this old girl, I guess this is the announcement of it, right? Yeah, you no one's heard about this yet. It's news. not on Instagram. We'll, <clears throat> we'll leave you guys a link for the MX Skill Shack Instagram page as well. 03 CR250. Yeah, coincidentally, the same guy owned both of these, which is, which is trippy. We got them both several years apart from one another. Uh, just ended up being that the same dude owned them. We got them at different times and totally different state too. These are from the communist state of California and we're up in Idaho. So yeah. this is definitely, she's, she's been sitting for a while. We got more spider webs mm -hmm. in it, but it's got some good bones. That's for sure. It's not twisted up. The subframe yep. looks like it's straight. Everybody loves a good CR build. Oh, this I'm gonna... stoked for both of these. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead fun. and I'll give you a sneak peek of number three. You guys tell me what you think that frame is for. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think that is. I can tell you that not many people build them and you're not going to want to miss out on nope. that one. And it might also be something we do with motocross action. Oh, and we'll just leave it at that for now. The might. emails are flying. Yes. So this is going to be a lot of fun, everybody. So stay tuned. Yeah, man. What do you need? You need me to move this hog? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, we're just dancing with her. Oh, hey, look at this. Yeah, it's kind of nice. We couldn't have, couldn't have spun these in a circle at either one of our last places. Yeah. So this is uh, she's she's a little she's a little rough around the edges, but I want to get this one running before we do anything. Yeah, Tony really wanted to try and start the '97 YZ125 build, and I was, I was pretty thinking, sure it was a, a was bad a idea. We yeah. decided not to in case it threw a rod at yeah. the bottom of the case, and then uh, as we took it apart, We're like man, it he's run. like, man, I should have started. It would have ran, and it probably would have, but yeah. uh, that's okay. We'd like to get them all running before we tear into them, just to make sure we got And then what? The freaking engine cases ended up being uh, bad anyway, so we should have thrown that damn rod. Yeah, we should have. <sighs> oh. More to come on that soon, yes. guys. Yes, We've been a little disconnected from the project yeah. stuff. Working Moving on sucks. Other projects. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does suck, no matter which way you look at it. But we made, we made quick work of it, speaking of that. We did, we kicked ass. Yeah, and yeah, we did. having said that, that means that this 97YZ is back on. This. 03 CR is starting now and from here on out we should be able to deliver a video to you guys hopefully once a week, once a week like the old MXR schedule now that we're finally down on our feet mm -hmm. and uh, several videos per month on the MX Skill Shack website the more yeah. granular stuff the digging in the, the yeah. squish videos yeah. the take your yeah. transmission apart videos yeah, even even if you want to learn how to change a tire because we're going to have stuff. to encounter that at some point in time yep I mean the library will be pretty much infinite so yes but also make sure you check out the Instagram and Facebook pages as well. Yeah, we're going so we're gonna to drop a uh, we're going to drop a video on uh, my Pro Circuit pipe for my RMZ that you just fixed. Yeah. What'd you do to it? Well, we we cleaned it up a little bit. You hit it with the vapor blaster mm -hmm. first, and I was quite tempted because anytime I see a fresh titanium pipe, I always want to. Apparently, this is going to go touch it. It's going to go wrong. Yeah, but <laughs> already I wanted to buff it up. You want to buff some pipe? <laughs> so Charles has captured some sneak peeks. Yep, so I'm yep. not too That'll happy be our about. Next post. But that's going to be yeah, funny. Tony was stroking a pipe with I a was, rag. It needed to be buffed, Charles, all right? Were you aroused? No, you were, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went ahead and torched it. So I did. I it's burned that shit. has got some nice blued welds. <laughs> Anyways. Uh -huh. But it turned out nice. So stuff like that we're going to teach. Teach how to do. By no means am I a, an artist when it comes to it, but I like to at least make them look fancy. Ah, modest, I see. Modest. Well, that yeah, pretty much wraps it up, dude. Do we have anything else to tell the people? I'm going to check my notepad while you... Yeah, yeah. Scratch your head uh, a little so bit. So I feel like if we're going to tell people things, mm -hmm. if we're ever curious about services that we could provide mm -hmm. to reach out, it doesn't hurt to ask a question. Oh, for sure. Here's a contact link at the bottom yeah. website. That's a good one. We Thank you for mentioning like, it. No general service, but we, yeah, will, it's not we a... will take engines in and pimp them out if that's something you guys are looking for. And if you knock on the door while we're filming, because it's not a public shop. Yeah, we'll burn up, hit you with a torch. Yeah, we're going to feed you one of these burnt dicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so if that's what you want, come on by. Yeah, Otherwise, come on by. 
knock on the door. All right, guys, thanks for watching the very first MX Skill Shack video. I know it is not a bike build or a bike teardown, but we're excited to share this new space with you. Yes. We are ready to kick some mother ass yes. in here, yes. build you some bikes, teach you some stuff, have you guys win some of our amazing creations. And if you get a minute, check out the links below, check out the 97YZ125 build so far, check out the website, check out this starter swag. swag we're working on. Yeah. Opening also a shop per build section on the website where when we finish a bike, you'll be able to go browse it and get the exact parts from that build. So excited about that, trying to do something different. Like I said, MXA yeah. build coming soon yep. with old Yeller there in the back. And uh, just look at that. Imagine how it's excited gonna, we are. Yeah. It's, it's just good to be in the same spot every day together. Exactly. To get some shit together. Done. Don't eating, be gay. Eating dick cookies. Uh, burnt dicks. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub and all that shit. Yeah, check it out. Catch you next time.